is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. They, they do great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 28, up 18. NASDAQ is up 32. S&Ps are up three. All those indices, folks, went from a decent negative to a positive. Gold contract, gold contract of a dollar 40, trading at a price point of 12.93 an ounce. We have silver down nine cents, 16 dollars 48 cents an ounce. Copper's down six pennies, 307 a pound. Light sweet crude. Down 47 cents, seventy-one dollars seventy-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note up sixteen ticks, one nineteen twelve. Thirty-year bond up a full point plus two ticks, one forty-two ten. Let's get over to that market. And we're going to start with this ten-year and take a look at it because you get yourself quite a move out here. Uh, deviant uh, move, no doubt. Uh, you've monched the volume. Uh, the ten-year is trying to get back inside its higher range, and this is going to be quite a feat. Um, because this has been a one-way trade, no doubt about it, and you have monster volume behind this move. We have 2.4 million contracts. Right now, you're at the 119.13 number, and the larger range starts at 119.14, and we are right at it right now. It looks like, Mickey, I would say that uh, intraday, this last hour, they're going to get this up right into the uh, 119, 14, 15, 16 uh, area. What does that do to the 10-year? That 10-year uh, right now, it's it's pretty wild, man. 2.999. And uh, it's real probable that uh, many folks thought we'd never see that uh, three-point uh, percentage mark again. Guess what? We have it, and we have it in spades. The 30-year, you take a look at the 30-year, and what you're going to see inside the 30-year, uh, this 30-year came back inside with a vengeance yesterday, um, I, I mean this morning, uh, and... We're talking about the 30-year, a, a really a big number here, because 14 was the number. We're almost a full point above that. Uh, also has monster volume in it. We're talking about, uh, check this out. You get 457,000 contracts, folks. Um, big number, huge number. In fact, the last time uh, we did the 480,000 contracts, that was on uh, the first. Uh, this, this, this does, the 30-year does a couple different things. The biggest one that it does is this. If we you happen to be watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see here is that this just broke with conviction the whole downdraft that started out here on the 11th of April. That's, that's a big number. Now, it certainly didn't break the one that, uh, because we've been going down since December. But bottom line, that is saying that the 30-year can go all the way back to 146.28. Let's go back to that 10-year for a second because I'm curious as to... If we actually broke, yeah, we did too. There we go. But the 10 year is going too, man. This, these rates are going down. So here we go. We take a look at the 10 year. What you're going to see here, this is a break with conviction also. 10 year wants to go back to 121.12. That's going to be quite a move. Huge move. Yeah, we get a question about the TLT. Yes, the TLT would be a buy. Uh, TLT also goes topside. TLT is, uh, you get 6.4 million shares. Uh, your bottom line is that you're inside the range. Actually, the range on the TLT, I don't think it ever got out of it. 116.51. Yeah, it did. It, it, it got out of it. It spiked lower on the 17th of May. 
Uh, bottom line. Now, what's intriguing about the TLT, let me just see this for a second, because the TLT actually hasn't broken. Now, the TLT hasn't broken its down trip, uh, down trend yet. I would have to get a bit higher because the TLT is set up differently because the TLT actually got a good bounce uh, on the uh, 11th. But bottom line is that, yeah, if you're going to buy it, it's not a bad place to buy it. You put a stop, uh, you know, right under the low of yesterday, which is a couple points lower. But bottom line is that you are seeing some uh, big action out here. Now, the Fed come out with their minutes. Uh, bottom line, inside the minutes, it was basically status quo. Uh, it was... Um, they do expect that they're going to go up in June. Right now, there's a 100% chance, uh, probability rather, that they're going to go up another uh, 25 basis points on the June 13th meeting. Uh, that being said, uh, after that, uh, you have to go out quite a while. In fact, I can go out right to the end of the year, uh, and you don't have uh, anything over 50% that there's going to be another rate hike. Uh, what the Fed did have inside of the... Um, minutes is that what they had inside the minutes is that the uh they would let inflation run over two percent they haven't even got it there yet they're still worrying about it but bottom line they're saying they'll let it run over it king dollar what do we have with king dollar so check this out this is going to be why i'm watching king dollar and this is why yesterday king dollar came up with a nice doji a tri-star doji bottom line you got to a higher high today you know it doesn't negate the uh aspect that you had you had that tri star that being said when you do get a signal like that whether it's a bullish or bearish signal you want follow through we did not get follow through what you did out here today is you went to a higher higher inside the US dollar um, bottom line until it closes under 93.480 bottom line it can still get higher price um, that being said what you do have is that you have the metals market moving uh, if we go into the commodities market in general and look at the commodities uh, you got quite a few of these commodities market uh, moving. You get cattle up 2%, you got wheat up 1.8, sugar's up 1.6, cocoa's up 1.1, corn's up 9 tenths, so beans are up uh, 8 tenths, uh, decent numbers across the board. If we go into the late sweet crude market, we had the e, uh, uh, EIA numbers out this morning, high volatility. We went from a price point of 72.26 down to 71.19. You had to move $1.10. Bottom line, it snapped right back. Uh, oil still wants higher price. And we had plenty of oil, by the way. I mean, it was a huge build uh, and still wouldn't back down. Well, back down momentarily, meaning a couple hours. Gasoline, gasoline is down a half a percent. We are still running 225 on unleaded gasoline. And this baby did not uh, basically just shook off the news that we have so much gasoline out there. It went down to 222. Uh, uh, wholesale closing out uh, right well not closing out it's at 225 right now so big numbers uh, all over the place stay right there folks we come right back we have the Dow Industrials right now down free Nasdaq is up 25 s and are flat The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special has just been announced. For one week only, we're doubling the bonuses that we normally give out with any Tiger Dollar purchase. Normally, when you purchase Tiger Dollars, you can receive a 10, 15, or 20% bonus with your purchase, but through Memorial Day only, we've doubled the bonuses to 20, 30, and even 40%. This is one of the best Tiger Dollar sales that we offer, and they only come around a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and they never expire. So whether you're already a subscriber and want to add savings to your monthly or yearly subscription, or you're thinking about signing up for anything in the future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. For all the details on the Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal ends May 28th.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is right now uh, down free. You get the NASDAQ up 27, S&P is uh, flat. Let's go over and take a look at this S&P. So uh, Goldman Sachs, folks, did it again, meaning uh, you talk about uh, cleaning up uh, in the markets at certain points. Now, uh, if, we, if we take a look at the, the chart on Goldman, uh, it's not impressive. I mean, it failed at the 250 mark. Uh, bottom line is that this thing has been going down uh, for the past three months. And the way that this is set up, uh, is that it, it, it had a huge consolidation, got out of the consolidation uh, in December, went back inside it, and you came back inside it with volume. Uh, May 4th is a high volume low. Uh, that being said, uh, let me show you something here inside the S&P because this just came across the tape. So if we look at the S&P, we've been talking about the February 5th time frame for quite some time. Now, February 5th, uh, that was a disaster in the marketplace. Bottom line is that... Uh, you had the S&P go from 27.63 to 26.38. I monster move, right? No, no two ways about that. If we go take a look at the VIX on that day, what you're going to see, let's bring this up. So on February 5th, this year's right here. February 5th, we the VIX went from 16.80 to 38.80. Well, it just came across the tape. Guess what? Goldman Sachs that day made 200 million in profit. That's as much as they make in a year in their derivatives desk. Bottom line is that they had uh, set up a trade, uh, and I guess they weren't the only ones because we know that uh, uh, there is a couple other ones that that's one of those VIX products actually blew apart. Bottom line, they set they set up a trade also and made 200 million on that trade. Look at that. That's that's quite a move though. Bottom line. Um, there you go. Volatility, folks. Uh, and, and, and before that, if you remember, uh, this market, people were actually saying that the bottom line is that the volatility uh, is never going to come back. It's like, yeah, as soon as you hear that, you want to be all over it. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks in this market. And this is going to be a low volume market out here today. Uh, outside of GE, GE, um, let's bring up GE for a second. So this is a classic, too, when stocks are falling apart. Uh, GE today down 113 million shares. You're down a buck 14. Uh, if you bring this back, what you're going to see is that GE has been in a one-way route on the way down. It started out. Uh, we bring this back to 2016. GE's trading at 32 bucks. You're half that level right now. 
you already went down to the price point of 12.73, and all as GE did. Now it's intriguing here. GE couldn't even make it up to ice. Ice on GE lays out at $17, 17 dollars, 17 dollars and 16 cents. It couldn't even make it that far on a dead cat bounce. Uh, bottom line, it full of, fell apart again. And uh, what was intriguing is that what they're blaming it on is that um, the CEO. Uh, Bottom line came out and says there's no quick fix here. Uh, yeah, no one said GE's turnaround was going to be easy. Bottom line, folks, is that uh, GE right now is scrambling every which way in order to move divisions out, hope they get enough cash in order to basically stay in business to keep the cash flow going in order to get whatever they're going to have left, uh, you know, whatever divisions they're going to have left. Because the bottom line is that uh, yesterday inside the news, they were talking about they still were trying to move out the some legacy, basically, uh, mortgages uh, as well as insurance. And I can tell you flat out, whether it's mortgages or insurance, they have liabilities up the yin-yang in those. Huge, huge liabilities. Let's go, we go over to Tiffany's. Tiffany's uh, came out today with numbers, monster numbers on Tiffany's. Uh, this baby goes topside in a huge way. Uh, you're trading up, look at this, you're trading up 20%. Tiffany's opened at $119. It's trading at 125. We bring this back, and you know, Tiffany's wasn't in bad shape anyway. The bottom line is that it, it had been, cons excuse me, it had been consolidating uh, at high levels. Uh, this just blew this away and you get a monster ABC up. So check this out. This is pretty intense on a monthly basis. Your A point is $56, $56.5. Your B is up there at 111. Look at that, baby. You're talking about uh, 54 bucks. That sets up $140 uh, Tiffany's price. Huge, huge, huge price. And let's just see what, the, what numbers they actually came in with. Come on, there she is. Wow. Okay. So, um, bottom line is that they had they had, they had a decent expansion. Uh, they came in with one billion, and that was one billion, and that's not in the holiday quarter. That's what's really intriguing about this, folks. This is uh, January, February, and March. Uh, they had done 1.3 billion, but that's uh, of course Christmas uh, shopping. They expect that to be the best. So what you're going to see with uh, Tiffany's this year, they expect they're going to be, right now, they're going to be doing an additional $200 million in business. Big numbers. Um, Asia is still growing by 2%. The U.S. is down by 2%. Other countries are down by 3 And uh, it's all jewelry. Look at that, man. They're buying jewelry. They're buying jewelry in spades. Target. Uh, difference in Target. Target, uh, bottom line, uh, TGT, that baby couldn't handle the numbers uh, that come out with numbers uh, down four bucks. This is couldn't handle the top of its the consolidation. So we're down. We're down with big volume on this. Let's see what this is looking like. Yep. Okay. So we bring this back. Yeah, this is going to be a problem for Target. You know, Target. Fifty-eight dollars is game here. We're at seventy-one right now. The high uh, generated eighty-five bucks. That was uh, three years ago. Uh, let's get some problems. No two ways about it. Lows, uh, just the uh, opposite. Lows, uh, bottom line, numbers weren't good, that great. But guess what? Uh, they like the uh, new CEO, evidently. Uh, what you have with uh, lows? Lows opened at ninety dollars, trading ninety-four eighty right now. You have volume. Uh, behind the move. And we also, in Lowe's yesterday, you actually had volume yesterday too. Uh, now, Lowe's needed it because of the damage that was done from March. In March, Lowe's went from $98, folks, to 85 in a heartbeat. Um, bottom line, it's right into that candle. It's going to get to 98. And I expect you're going to build some cars. And uh, we put this on. Oh, that's interesting. So watch this. When we put this on a monthly, Unbelievable. You know, when we put lows on a monthly, what this had done is come back to its strength 
when it broke topside in December with light volume, and it's this is going to be unbelievable. No, it's not going to be an ABC up because what we had done is come down in March with volume, but this is making its way back. This is in a whole nother range, whole nother range, man. Pretty amazing. Um, let's see if that's putting some uh, juice into uh, Home Depot. Home Depot had come out with numbers. Numbers were good. Um, yeah, it's not putting any juice into that. Home, Home Depot is going to need a little more juice in order to basically get up into higher price. This is Tom O'Brien. This is GFNN. Stay right there, folks. We come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up six. NASDAQ is up 30. S&Ps are up two. We're kicking into the uh, holiday weekend, and uh, you can expect the... No, we'll get a little bit slower tomorrow, and Friday is going to be dead dog day. Coming right back. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank. Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 7, NASDAQ's up 33, S&Ps are up 2.5. Uh, let's go over and take a look at uh, Cronus. Uh, is it Cronus? Let's see. It's Cronus Group. Okay, so... Uh, they this operates as an investment company it invests in medical marijuana producing companies and the low for the year is a dollar the high is eleven dollars and ninety cents and when we take a look at this uh you know this year the last quarter they uh, did the 2.9 million next quarter they plan on doing 3.5 next quarter they plan on doing 14 and the next quarter, 8, 20 million. Now, next year, so that's 31 million if they do what they expect they're going to do in 2018. 
The following year, they plan on going up to 136 million. And what that's going to be about is that evidently they're probably invested in some other some companies that uh, bottom line are doing business in Canada because it's going recreational in Canada. So when we take a look at this uh, chart, the way this chart's set up, uh, you have big expansion. You know, you get some decent volume up to about 685. Um, I would not be biting on this right now. And, and this is why, is that, you know, you, you had decent volume on March 1st, right? But watch this. Okay, so this is in the medical marijuana space, right? Well, the mer medical marijuana space has been moving in an extraordinary way, and this stock hasn't gone with it. Uh, you had just had Canopy uh, move in seven days from $30 to $39.22 with volume. Uh, this Canopy is going right after its high of $44. When you have something, now, now there's no doubt, Canopy, the difference is Canopy is a producer, uh, and they're, they're the largest legal producer, public company there is out there. Uh, they, uh, when you're talking about uh, dollar-wise, they took in $21 million last quarter. They expect $24 million next quarter, uh, uh, $79 million for the year. And then next year, they plan on... Um, Doing 314 million. Now, what is going to happen uh, next week, folks? You are going to see uh, this. The, 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 actually, these might be moving this week because of next week. Is this what's going on? Next week, there's a big investor conference in New York City. Um, the whole medical marijuana deal uh, is going to be there, so they're going to be pumping that baby up. Let me just go look at a couple of more of these. So, we got Aurora Cannabis. That's ACB. Let's pull this one up. ACB. Okay, so this is trading eight dollars and fifty-three cents. That's interesting. See, this hasn't moved either. Okay, that hasn't moved. Let's do a couple more. I want that. That 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 kills me. That canopy. I I just I. Didn't buy. I didn't buy it because I thought it was going to go lower, and that's a beauty, man. A P H. Let's pull up A P H. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh no, uh, hold on, that's not it. A P H. C N. Okay, that's what I gotta do. So that's a twelve seventy seven. Yeah, this isn't bad either. Now, the difference on this one, I like this one outside of Canopy. And the reason being is that it's got that high volume high again. Yeah, this got a high volume high of 24. You're at 12. Let's see what they do. Okay, they produce supply, sell medical marijuana. Company offers cannabis oil, dried marijuana. They operate in Canada. Okay, so the Canada deal is going to be a big deal, folks. Yeah, they're doing, are they, okay, so that's interesting. They're doing, they're not doing as much as Canopy, but uh, they're getting there. They did 10 million last quarter. They expect to do uh, 10 million in the next quarter. Oh, and they're profitable. Interesting. Yeah, the, this, so check this out. This company's been profitable. First profit came in 2017. Let me go back to Canopy for a second. I want to take a look at this. So if they're, if they're profitable right now and they're only doing medical marijuana, you can imagine when it's going to be recreational. Yeah, Canopy, I see. Canopy went into a profit in 2017, went back into a loss, and they expect to stay in a loss for not a, yeah, well, 36, 26 cents, 26 to 36 cents. They are growing uh, by 214% a year, a year. And uh, you know, we'll see when that thing uh, gets uh, legal up in Canada. Um, in fact, at the break, I'm gonna see how many people are in Canada because uh, the difference between the, uh, and what has happened in Canada, folks, is this. The way that it's gonna come down in Canada is that it's the, in certain provinces, it's the actual state that is selling uh, on the retail level. 
It's the, it's the canopies of the world, the auroras of the world that are going to fill the wholesale orders for the state. That's how that is shaken out. And I believe that's um, in the province of Ontario. That's the only way that it can actually be sold. So, you know, bottom line is that just means that they're still going to uh, get a huge amount of uh, retail business, wholesale business. Uh, because if you actually look at this, one of these, uh, I was looking at one of these contracts. The contract is like insane. The contract is for tons and tons and tons. Yes, with a T. Um, let me see if I can find this quickly for you because it's pretty, it's pretty amazing that when you think, yeah, I, I'll get it in a break. Uh, it's pretty amazing when you think that uh, you have, you think in, not in uh, milligrams or ounces, uh, you're thinking, oh, there it is, you're thinking in tons of orders. Let me see. So Invictus. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back to that. Bottom line is that uh, those those companies, yeah, a lot of them are going to make uh, a lot of amount of money. And what you are going to see, there's no doubt, you're going to see a big consolidation in those very quickly because whoever can be the biggest, the fastest. Um, is going to happen. What you know? What's intriguing? This is what I, I guess up in Massachusetts. What's happening in a couple of weeks that people can actually start growing it because they made it legal in Massachusetts, but my understanding is that they have no way to buy it. But now you can start growing it. So it's going to get kind of intriguing inside of that business. Is that okay? If you can grow it, if everyone can grow it, you know, why are you going to buy it? You know, I guess it's going to come down to um, kind of like booze. Uh, you know, you, you can make your own beer, but guess what? How long does it take to make a bottle of beer versus going out and uh, buying a good bottle of beer. We'll see where it shakes out, though. But, um, you know, for the next good amount of time, those companies are going to basically make money hand over fist. Uh, the banking structure, they're going to have to figure that banking. Well, in, in Canada, they don't have to figure it out because it's totally legal. In the United States, um, they're still having problems with the amount of cash they take in. And on top of that, the amount of uh, they cannot write off their expenses so what ends up happening is that they have to make a lot, they better make a lot of money because the bottom line is that uh, any other business, you, your product, you have your product, then you have your expenses, then you have your profit. Um, they they figured, they figured out a way to basically get expenses in because they, in the U.S., but not as much as a normal business. Stay right here, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial. Up four, Nasdaq up 33, SFB's up one and a half. We'll come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. One of the keys to success in anything is the ability to make new distinctions. So what new distinctions are you making to achieve even more success in your life? When it comes to trading and investing, I wanted to become the best of the best, which is why I went on to make new distinctions. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 and gold. On Wednesday, May 23rd at 5 p.m., I'm going to share with subscribers one of my newest distinctions, which is how to follow the money and do so in multiple currencies. You see, money has to flow somewhere, and with the world getting smaller and smaller each day, you and I can identify exactly where most of the money in the world is flowing. Sign up for Mastering Probability by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com to begin your 30-day money-back guarantee trial membership and learn the exact tools that I use to time the markets. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, because the workshop will be archived on your memory 
members page for the next 30 days. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow right now uh, up four. NASDAQ is up 33. S&Ps are up two. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, he is going to be doing a great workshop for you tonight, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time, as soon as I get off the air here. And that workshop, folks, is going to be all about currencies, which is pretty cool. Uh, bottom line is that what, what we're talking here is the aspect of uh, – your investments, uh, how do they work in the aspect of currencies, okay? We got a subscriber event. Uh, what that is going to be about is follow the money because currencies rule. Uh, when we're talking about currencies rule, you know, do you know the value of your investments in all major currencies and how they are, and how not knowing one, uh, this one important detail can lead to an underperformance in your portfolio. Now, so the way that you get in this workshop, you can come over to our website at TFNN, you get Steve's Mastering Probability, great newsletter. Comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have nothing to lose. You get a great newsletter for a month. You can listen to them every day. You're going to get the workshop tonight. And if you can't make it uh, in person, folks, we have some great technology be on your page for one full day. What you're also going to get uh, as soon as you sign up, you're going to get two of Steve's other courses that he had done. Steve's 90-minute money management workshop, that's $149 value. Steve's uh, candlestick charting workshop, that's an additional $149 value. So you'll get that as soon as you sign up. And, of course, I managed to Steve Rhodes. He is the number one market timer right now in the S&P uh, and time is digest. Big number, man. Big, big number. Great, great accomplishment. Uh, huge deal. It takes a long time to get that, folks. Bottom line is that they got to follow you for a full year before you basically even be eligible. So... Uh, check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Get in the workshop tonight, 5 to 6. Get a great education. Uh, and as you're over at TFNN, uh, a, a way to do this is we are having the Tiger Dollar Sale. That Tiger Dollar Sale is uh, good until next Monday, this Monday. It's, uh, we've, we've done, uh, basically, uh, we do, a, well, we used to do four of these a year. Now we're only doing two of them a year. Uh, this one here is a large one, meaning a large discount. You get a 20 30, a 40% bonus. Uh, that means you can buy 500 Tiger Dollars, you get 600 to spend. Or you can buy 1,000, you get 1,300 to spend. Or you can buy 1,500, which you get 2,100 to spend. Okay, so you're, you're talking about uh, big savings. You can use those right away. Uh, there's no expiration date. They're totally transferable and they're good for all product at TFNN. So let's go over to the banking sector. So uh, we've heard, uh, you know, bottom line is that part of the uh, Dodd-Frank uh, uh, deal uh, for regional banks uh, basically got, uh, got rewritten. Um, it's not doing much to the banking sector, I can tell you that. You had a nice pop yesterday uh, inside the banking sector, inside the XLF. XLF goes up to a 28.50. Bottom line, you back right down again today. And you uh, did come down, and we get some volume on the way down. So it's going to be intriguing because if this baby, this is having monster problems as the market is getting into the February 5th level as well as the March 22nd level. If we go into the, we go from the financials and go into the uh, energy sector, 
uh, energy sector. Bottom line, the number to keep your eye on here in this ETF is 77, 78.39. Uh, that number, we got over it. Uh, the first day we got over it was on the 17th. And then what we did yesterday is actually we got over it and we came off that with some volume. Uh, so this is going to be a, a big week uh, because the uh, if we get a failure up here uh, at the uh, 78.39, yeah, we've made it over it. So you get 42 million versus 59. I'd say we're going to get the volume. We'll see what, what you hold the price. 90 million. Okay, I see what it's doing. So 90 million, folks. So check this out. Okay, this is what is happening here. This could be a triple top inside the uh, XLE, and this is what it is. December of 2016, 90, $78.45, 90 million shares traded. Last time we got up here, if you want to see a failure, oh, this is pretty cool, man. Oil loves doing this, man. So, January, we get to 78.39. We get over the high. Oh, we get into the high. We miss it by six cents. We do it by 59 million versus 90. And then what does it do? It goes from 78 to 64 dollars in three weeks. Monster move. It takes us, uh, let's see, it takes us 16 weeks to get back up to this level. And we're not going to have the volume here. We've done 42 million. We can do 59, 60. But bottom line, at the end of this month, we want to watch this closely because $78.45. Um, we're into that right now. We close underneath that. That's going to be another failure. And then the infamous February 9th high volume spike is going to get tested once again. That February 9th level, folks, is pretty incredible. If you uh, joined us, just joined us now. Uh, it had come across the tape right when I started the program uh, that on February 5th, that's where Goldman Sachs, they were one of the big traders inside the volatility, uh, their big volatility trade. They made $200 million on that day. That $200 million, folks, is normally what they make on that derivative desk for a full year. Pretty incredible. But that's when the VIX did uh, go up $20. That's when the, one of the... Uh, uh, actually, uh, the uh, triple ETF imploded, and uh, there, was, there was a lot of money made and a lot of money lost that day. That's the bottom line. We go up and take a look at the uh, silver market. Let's go take a look at silver. So silver continues to try to drag gold higher. Uh, silver down here, you know, today was off uh, half a percent. Uh, we were down 21 cents earlier. It rejected lower price. And we, uh, we do have higher highs in silver. So this is pretty cool how this is shaking out. You know, $16.46. Silver has stayed in the higher range. And now you're pushing that higher range and you're pushing it with volume. It looks to me uh, that uh, as we come into the end of this week, uh, you have a three-day weekend. That is going to set up some nice volume number one inside the currency market. And I expect we're going to see it inside the metals market. What we may have here, by the way, folks, is this. It really could have to do with a currency crisis. And where this would stem from um, is that you've had the peso in Argentina lose 25% of its value in the last six months. Uh, right now, the uh, Argentina peso is 24 pesos to one US dollar where it was in December was 17. You can imagine, that's a monster, right? Then what you have is that, now, so that's South America. Then on top of that, over in the Middle East, this can be end up being a problem. The lira has just blown apart in a huge way. Uh, we got up to a 4.9 lira to one US dollar. Uh, what they did do is that they finally raised the interest rates uh, today that got down to 4.5, but check it out. It was 3.7, and 3.7, that was only uh, three months ago. And I'm sure many of us that were people that listen, you've been in the market for a long period of time. Think about how many times you keep hearing all these broker dealers, these banks saying, get in the emerging markets, get in the emerging markets. I'm only bringing up two. The emerging market currencies, folks, have got smoked. So. When I say a currency crisis, what happens is this. Because we're in an ETF era, they start selling those ETFs, guess what? 
that role is determined for prices. It doesn't even have to be a confidence deal. It can just be a role from selling. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 20, NASDAQ's up 40, S&Ps are up 3.5. Netflix, uh, Netflix, folks, bottom line is that uh, this caught a bid once again. You get Netflix up $12.98. Uh, it's breaking all the ties. We are at uh, 344.56. Uh, and what that does, I believe, okay, so you get a market cap out here, 149 billion. CMCSA, what they're saying is that that's even bigger than Comcast right now. It's just, uh, so Comcast, what I say? Yeah, 146 billion. So bottom line, uh, let me see this. I want to see this. So Comcast takes in, I'm just curious of how this works. So Comcast takes in 89 billion, and of course that's NBC Universal, that's cable, that's all of it. Uh, okay, 89 billion, and then and, if, oh. and they make okay, so they make two dollars and fifty cents a year. Netflix, and if, and if we go over to Netflix, they take in 16 billion. Oh, look at that, man. They make 280. So check this out. This is pretty cool. To their bottom line, they they take in. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, they take in a lot less money, like 10% of what uh, Comcast takes in, but yet they make the same amount of money to the bottom line. And that's that's the real bottom. That's 
That's what that's what makes stocks worth money. Bottom line is that what do you earn per share? And uh, you know you get Comcast and you get Fox fighting over uh, the Disney assets. Uh, if we go over to Disney for a second, they're fighting over that content that would be good for a long period of time. Disney was down a buck eighteen today. Light volume though. This is still building cause to try to get through the downdraft from uh, February 5th. Uh, there's going to be a lot more fights about the content out here because the bottom line is that the, the larger content, because people are used to getting so many, having so many different devices, um, basically watching content. Stay right there, folks. We get lots of numbers coming out after the close. Uh, bottom line, all the indices went from red. They went to the Sherman store, got that paint, green paint. Paint it up nice and green. Dow up 37, Nasdaq up 42, S&P's up five and a half. Come. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are going to take him by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. Holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Look at lies. Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 52. NASDAQ up 47. S&P's up four and a half. Bottom line, doesn't look like a lot, folks, but guess what? Let's go over and start looking at the Dow because what you're going to see from the lows to the highs, you had quite a move out here today. We had a low that was established out here at 24,667, and it moved 200 points off of that baby. Uh, now, what do you have? Well, guess what? We have Memorial Day weekend. You have window dressing. We have we're coming into Thursday. You're going to get light volume out here. You get a holiday weekend. People are feeling good. This baby's going to try to get into the highs once again. Uh, and, and the Dow Industrials, that's 25,086. We go take a look at the NASDAQ composite. What do we have with the composite? Composite from the high, from the lows to the highs out here today, uh, we got, there we go, we got to a price point. Uh, we hit a low of 73.34. Uh, bottom line, you're up 90 points off of that number. Now, this is what's really cool here. Now, you, this is pretty wild how this is shaking out. When you look at the composite, this is what we have. This is just about a last engulfing. Now, 
Yesterday, we talked about a TriStar Doji in the dollar index. Bottom line, you didn't get follow through today. The TriStar Doji is very hard to uh, set up. I'll go over that uh, when we get into the dollar. What you have here is that this is just about a last engulfing. And what a last engulfing is, is this. It looks like it's bullish, but it's actually bearish. What you do first is that you have to have a pro prolonged uptrend, which we have. We have the, so we're at 68.08 in April, April 2nd. You go up to the high, and then you start off on a low. You go up to a high, and bottom line is that that's what we're facing here. Now, that being said, I don't expect this thing's going to fall apart tomorrow. Uh, you want to pay attention to it, though. The reason being is that you are still coming into the gap that's over here from the 19th. And one of the main reasons I don't expect we're going to be falling apart is the aspect that trading desk folks, the beginning of summer, for all you folks, of course, up the northeast, out in the Midwest, it's been a vicious winter. Bottom line, people are going to get out of town. Uh, the trading desk in New York and Chicago are going to get out of town early. The NDX 100, same type of setup in the NDX. NDX started lower today, got higher. I do expect what you're going to see, though, this NDX, the Qs, they want to get into this uh, gap up here. The gap, the bottom of the gap is 170.93. Right now, you're at 169.60. Now, the correlation, now this is where this gets really cool. So picture this. We have the indices that snap back again, once again, as they've done continually. The S&P is still coming into a monster supply line, that supply line being the February and March downdraft. NASDAQ composite, better number, that's coming up into the gap. The IWM, let's go over to the IWM and take a look at the IWM. This is the small cap. Bottom line, the small cap, the number to keep your eye on is the 160, 62. We get over it, we come back underneath it. Bottom line, you're over it again, and that says you can go to higher price. Now, that being said, the note and bond market, folks, is saying that money is going into safe vehicles once again. And it came in fast and furious. The 10-year note went up 17 ticks. Now, the 10-year does not go up a half a point uh, a lot. I'll go down a half a point a lot. Bottom line, that's a, that's a very large move. We did this move with conviction. Uh, we are right under the higher trading range. The higher trading range inside the 10 is 119.14. What I do expect we're going to see is that we're going to get inside of that. Um, what the 10-year did do is that it broke the downtrend that's been in place since April 2nd. Then it broke it with conviction. When you uh, take a look at how this broke this trend line, I mean, it, it just ripped it apart. So that's saying the 10-year is going to be on its way to 121.12. Right now... The yield on the 10-year uh, did come back under 3%, which many folks thought we'd never see uh, in a long period of time. Right now, you're at 2.98. The 30-year, you talk about a movement, folks. The 30-year, that baby not only went topside, we went up a full point in eight ticks. Uh, the 30-year, we haven't seen this type of volume in a long period of time. Uh, if we've seen it, uh, I can't actually remember when I've seen 500,000 contracts. Yeah, well, we had 460,000 contracts when we went higher the 22nd of March. We did 500,000 contracts in the 30-year, folks. That says two different things. There, there may have been people, uh, you know, a lot of people shot the, the bonds because bottom line is it's saying on a continual basis, guess what, um, you know, rates are going higher. Um, they might have had a cover, uh, whatever, uh, just people buying. Bottom line this got inside the higher range in a huge way. Uh, we are going up into the 147.03 um, mark inside the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 right now is yielding 3.14. And the high for the year, which was last week, was 3.24. So uh, notes, bonds, bottom line, higher price, lower yield. If we look at the TLT, the 20-year plus uh, bond, ETF, you're going to see volume came in on that. We did mine 9 million shares. You're into the gap. This also wants to trade, uh, looks like it wants to trade up into this uh, 122 area. Yeah, 122, we're at 117.94 right now. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? That also got some movement out here. That did reject lower price. Gold needs a lot more help, though, to get in the higher range. 
Uh, what we did get out here today is that you got the volume behind the move. We did 390,000 contracts. That's big contract volume. You're pushing into the supply line. And this supply line is going to be vicious. The supply line is from the downdraft of February of uh, May 15th. That's when the, this contract went from uh, $1,315 down to $1,288. That came down with the vengeance. That came down with 485,000 contracts. Uh, we, right now, $10, uh, we got uh, $10 into it today. That's a, that's a good indication that we're going to basically try to make it uh, up into the area of $1,314. Now, $1,314 is only the beginning of the higher range. So what I don't want to see is that I don't want to see us get up to that level to stop. I'd rather see us get up before that level, build some cars, then blow through that area. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special has just been announced. For one week only, we're doubling the bonuses that we normally give out with any Tiger Dollar purchase. Normally, when you purchase Tiger Dollars, you can receive a 10, 15, or 20% bonus with your purchase, but through Memorial Day only, we've doubled the bonuses to 20, 30, and even 40%. This is one of the best Tiger Dollar sales that we offer, and they only come around a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and they never expire. So whether you're already a subscriber and want to add savings to your monthly or yearly subscription, or you're thinking about signing up for anything in the future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. For all the details on the Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Special, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal ends May 28th. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, Just call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world. So in the world of Bitcoin, folks, uh, bottom line is that uh, this baby, we're getting some volatility uh, inside that market again. Uh, we had a Bitcoin uh, during market hours down $488. Uh, on Monday, uh, this was trading at 85.19. Uh, right now, you're at 76.17. Now, what we also did is this. Uh, we basically broke um, a B point. Now, it's not necessarily an ABC structure on the way down. Uh, the uh, type of structure that we're, we're talking about, 
with price and volume because we don't get consistent volumes inside Bitcoin. That being said, this price projection right now would be 67.27 uh, inside Bitcoin. And the last low out here was like 65.13. So we get some numbers here. Let's go to Sam in Melbourne. Hey, Sam, what's going on? Hey, how are you, uh, Tom? I'm doing great. Yourself? Yeah, great. I'm doing, I'm doing, um, Good. not too great right now, but that's okay. You know, life goes on. Uh, okay. <laughs> I call, I'm, I'm calling you back, and I have a couple of questions on a couple of the stocks I would like to have you to look at. But first, okay. you know, I would like to clarify something I said yes. to you a couple of days ago. I said I, uh, I said I had a failed business, and I watched out of the market. The reason I watched out of the market is because I did not follow your system, okay? And I have very poor money management. Yeah, and at yes. the same time, the business gone bad, that's where you, you start to panic more. Yes. And... Um, I, I, I hope you understand that now um, for, for all your new listeners. They happen to hear what I said. Oh, no, that, listen, that, man. That, that, I thought it was a nice great deal. conversation. Sam, I, listen, I appreciate it. I, I thought it was a great conversation. No, I, don't believe me. I didn't. I've been doing this long enough. Let me I tell know, you I something. Know. I've seen you long enough. <laughs> that, um, you know, markets in general, okay, are tough. That we were in a depression. You know, that's the real bottom line. What, you know, that's a generational deal. I mean, I guess if we were around the 30s, we saw it happen there. You know, I, I don't expect we're going to see something like that again. I hope we don't. That's the bottom line. And, yeah. you know, guess what? Everything goes down then. You know, if you remember, folks, you know, we were in the gold market. You know, we, we were very lucky because we got out. I got out the first time at 11 something. Uh, and when the market went south, gold went south with it, and people thought it was safe, and it went down to 666, man. I mean, there's nothing that's safe when there's less cash around. That's what it really comes down to, you know. But, yeah, but I, yeah. I appreciate and, you know, it. You know, to let you know, you know, I only recently getting back into trading, and I followed your system to the T, okay? okay. And, and I tried to control myself to be better on the money management side. Yes. And I, um, and, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in the green for now. But you know, lately, you know, for what I've been doing, I gotta give all that back. Okay, so let's and, talk about um, this. So, so watch what happens here. Now, this is what is dangerous in markets at all times, folks. Right. So, as Sam's saying, he's following time in the trade, doing great. Right now. When we're in, when you're in any we've been in a bull market for a long time, right? And what I when I talk about a a bull market, because well, what's so cool about bull markets is that you can make mistakes and you still make money. Okay. This market right now is very dangerous, so please be careful. And this is what it is: a sideways yeah. high end consolidation market, which we're in is really danger because what we don't know and we've got we've had this a few times is that what day are we going to wake up and the bottom line is that you get this s p you know down another 14 or 15 dollars or up another 14 for 15 or 20 dollars you know that's the type of market we're in right now we're not in a trending market so that makes a huge difference sam you know what i mean it just yeah. does yeah, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with taking a break I, I, I either, man. I advice. You know, you asked me to get out of Facebook, you know, and I did yesterday. But, see, I I did not have the patience to not get back in today, which I did, you know. And and um, I took a hit today. So, see, when you I say got, you I took back, a hit. I got back in, you know, when it's about to close the gap, I, I got back in and shorted. And uh, <laughs> now I get hit. <laughs> oh. Okay. See, I, I, you, you told me, you know, keep an eye on it, and I watched, I watched the action yesterday and said, oh, no, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to go down. It's, it's going to try to go up, you know, so I get out. But for some reason, I got back in today, and, and I got nailed. When you say you got back in, you went shot? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a little problem, child. So, I mean, you, you better put a stop over this uh, 188.32. Don't let it get over there, man. I mean. Yeah. 
You know, this, has, this it, yeah. yeah, well, it has a high volume high, and that's where it wants to go. This 190, you know, 195 looks like it's going to get hit, man. And, you know, yeah. it's, it's. And like, and like you say, you know, it's going to be very slow, you know, toward the end of the week. And, you know, I didn't, it I is. didn't need your advice, you know. I, I, and, and then what happens, I too, is that, and, and we're going to come into summer trading. And summer trading, folks, is basically dull. So in summer trading, you get, you'll get some good volume and good volatility on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But Mondays and Fridays, and it's starting this weekend, uh, you got to be careful, man, because they can move, they can push the market, you know, around pretty quickly, man. Yeah. yeah. And with, with very low volume. With, with very low volume, with nothing. Yeah. With, there's, there's no doubt. With nothing, they can push it around, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, the I'm, I, I, so I call you and ask you about a queue that, you know, because the queue had took out all, all of the down candle with half of the, the volume of, of, the, of the, the gap down day, you know, and I said, oh, something is wrong here. <laughs> and I, 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 bought a, I bought some queue contract, June contract, um, at, uh, I believe it was at 168. <laughs> Now, you're talking about buying a put, right? Uh, yeah, I, I bought the put, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you get the 168 put, and are these the ones that uh, they, they're they good until when? Um, June. It's a monthly June. Okay, okay. Well, that's not the end of the world. I, I you know, you just got to make it by, I would say, tomorrow. You know, the, the way that these queues are lined up, as is Facebook, right? This is almost the last engulfing. If you're at if, if the beginning of the program, that it's not quite a last engulfing, but I expect we're going to get popped tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll see. Bottom line is if it can handle this uh, 17082 number. Um, you know, but it, the, the monthly option, I wouldn't be as worried about. I can tell you that. Now, on, on Facebook, are you in a monthly option on Facebook, too, or are you in the stock? I'm, I'm in the I'm in the, the uh, monthly. Uh, okay, well that's that's not the end of the world, you know. You you got uh, what I expect we're going to see here. You know this this consolidation still on. Uh, once we get through window dressing, you you're going to get some more. You know, let me just look at this calendar for a second. So, let's see. So we got. Yeah, you, you're good to the 15th of June. That's not bad. You're going to, I mean, the, the week, the 4th to the, uh, yeah, the 4th to the 14th to 15th is going to have some volatility. I don't think we're going to have a lot of market action next week, but after that, I think you get a couple good weeks. All right. That sounds pretty good. Thank you okay, again, Tommy, Sam. And I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that I get in touch with you again. I'm glad you did, too. Have a great one, Sam. Have a safe one. Today, it's hard to tell right, if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, 
the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go over and take a look at uh, L Brands. L Brands just come out with the numbers. Now, this is, uh, they get a lot of different companies. And one of them that we all know, though, is Victoria's Secret. So the low for the year is $30. The high is 63 This closed at $34.05. And this is trading at 32 uh, And this baby right here, folks, um, L Brands, Victoria's Secrets. This has been in a one-way route all the way down. Uh, this, uh, high, the high is $98. That's in uh, 2015. Bottom line, you're at 34. Uh, you're breaking lows with volume. This looks to me like uh, next game down here is going to be like $20. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Yeah, you get this, this problem's in paradise here. 25 bucks. So let me just see. I'm, I'm curious as the gross revenues here because this is... Uh, another retailer that is getting hit by direct marketing. Um, you know, this, I suspect there's still plenty of people in these stores. The difference is, think about how many uh, different ads you've heard uh, for direct marketing, whether, you know, for guys, it's socks, for women, uh, it's bras. Uh, they, these direct marketing companies basically are taking the... Um, the juice out of the middle of these big companies. Um, in this particular case, uh, L Brands, they did 10.8 billion in 2014, uh, 12.6 this year. Uh, they're still growing. Um, you know, you get Bath and Body, Body Works. I can, Bath and Body, Body Works, that's still growing by 10%. Victoria's Secrets is not growing at all, at all. Uh, it's uh, less than 1%. And what I expect that is, is that uh, you just hear all these uh, ads. These, these ads are everywhere. And I, I suspect what, what that is, uh, is that when you go direct from the manufacturer to the customer, uh, bottom line is that, you know, you're cutting out the middleman. Um, you know, what I've done, you know, it's not that even when I used to use Gillette raises, I'd use them quite a bit. Um, bottom line, though, once I caught on to Harry's raise, it's like, you'd be kidding me, man. And that's all that Harry's did. What Harry's did, they made the raises, they made the blade, deliver it to your house, there's no cost for the delivery, and they're so inexpensive, it's unbelievable, and they last forever. So I suspect inside that L Brands, that's what, that's what you have happening. And, um, you know, the, the, the Internet machine has changed uh, the way that many of us of buying higher end products. You know, when I, when I think about the amount of money you save just on razor blades, it's, it's substantial. It's a, it's a substantial amount of bread that you actually do save. Uh, we go take a look at the, um, the note and bond market. Uh, note, the, these, the, oh here, let's go look. So 
The Fed, the Fed come out with minutes today. Uh, bottom line inside the minutes is that they do expect to go up another 25 basis points on June 13th. That's the next meeting. There's 100% probability uh, that, that we're going up 25 basis points. That being said, the rest of the year, now what we, we had before is that you had a, a probability that was going to be one more rate hike. It was over 50%. That There's not one in the Fed Fund futures rate. Nothing is over 50%. Uh, we are up to uh, 37.8%. That would be in the December 19th meeting. So what we're going to have here, if in fact this stays at these levels, um, you're going to have some stability inside the interest rate structure. Uh, that is actually inside the minutes what the Fed says they are looking for. They basically here, let me see if I can get this quote for you, because they what they were looking for, okay, so the Federal Reserve said uh, economic outlook warranted another interest rate hike soon and signaled they would welcome a modest overshoot of their 2% in target, target rate, indicating they're in no rush to tighten more aggressively. Market, uh, most participants judge that if income and information broadly confirm the current economic outlook, it would likely soon be appropriate for the committee to take another step in removing policy accommodations. Uh, this was from the uh, May 2nd, uh, first and second uh, meeting. Um, it was noted that uh, it was premature to conclude that inflation will remain at levels around 2%, especially after several years in which inflation had persistently run below the com committee's 2% objective, the minutes said. Um, in addition, it was noted that the potential for higher Chinese tariffs on key agricultural products could, in the longer run, hurt U.S. competitiveness. Well, those, those tariffs are off for a while. Uh, many uh, participants judge that it would be useful to make such technical adjustment sooner. Uh, separately, Fed policymakers back potentially making a small technical adjustment of setting the interest on excess reserves. Rate, rates modestly below the top of the Fed fund target range to help keep the effective Fed fund well within the range. Uh, so what you have here is this. When you're looking at here, I'll bring the uh, rates up again. Let's see, WIRP. What you have is this. The, if you're looking at Washington Tiger TV, you're going to see it says Fed effective rate at the very top right-hand side, 1.70. Well, right now we are at a, a, a rate basis, okay, of uh, 1.5 um, to 1.75. The effective rate that banks will lend overnight is that 1.70. So what they're saying uh, is that they're saying that they are looking for the aspect of uh, they're going to make they'd make that more effective in the middle of that rate structure. That's how that uh, shakes out. Let's go to uh, Jose and Brandon. Hey, Jose, what's going on? Hey, Tom, your call screener wanted to know what I wanted to look at. I said to him, Newmont Mining, what else? I love it, man. I love it. So let's let's take a look. I think we get action here, man. Newmont. Yeah, but it's been a little weak lately. Tom, before you answer the question, let me beat you up on gold a little bit. You've been doing it for 18 years. Yeah. Uh, following the gold market, how do you know the dollar isn't going to spend the whole summer at highs? Uh, and how do you in in seasonality factor June and July and August a week until the Patels over in India start doing the living things and buy gold? Why is it a good time right now? Okay, cool. So let's start. Let's start with let's start with the dollar, right? You know, yep. uh, bottom line is that I don't know that the dollar is not going to, you know, basically go a lot higher. Um, my, my, you know, we'll see. It's having a tough time right where we are right now. If we take a look at the dollar and we pull this back on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that this still. Bottom line is an anemic bounce in a market that has gone down since January of 2017. You know, we went from 103, we hit 88, you back up to 94, and you know, realistically, you can get to 95 pretty quickly. I mean, that's that's real, right? Yeah. The aspect, the aspect of though, when you just brought up the India. So what has happened, folks, is this: is that India in the gold market has always been, had always been, the buy, largest buyers of gold 
And just as uh, Jose was talking about, is that it's all about jewelry. They've been the biggest buyers. They're no longer the bigger, biggest buyers. China is in there. The ETFs are in there. Um, yeah, just, just stay there. We'll come right back, all right? Okay. Dow Industrials right now at 52. Nasdaq's at 47. S&P's closed up one and a half. We'll come right back, folks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. One of the keys to success in anything is the ability to make new distinctions. So what new distinctions are you making to achieve even more success in your life? When it comes to trading and investing, I wanted to become the best of the best, which is why I went on to make new distinctions. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 in gold. On Wednesday, May 23rd at 5 p.m., I'm going to share with subscribers one of my newest distinctions, which is how to follow the money and do so in multiple currencies. You see, money has to flow somewhere, and with the world getting smaller and smaller each day, you and I can identify exactly where most of the money in the world is flowing. Sign up for Mastering Probability by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com to begin your 30-day money-back guarantee trial membership and learn the exact tools that I use to time the markets. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, because the workshop will be archived on your members page for the next 30 days sign up today tom take your phone calls now, now. toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 tom o'brien welcome back folks we're talking uh, to jose uh and we're talking about gold uh we're talking about seasonality we're talking about the dollar so if we get into newmont what now what has happened here and in, in the summer the actual best runs that we've had the last few years in an uptrend meaning that you know gold has been down tremendously since 2011 but when you take a look at this what you're going to see is that this is the season that we have actually run higher in all of the gold equities you know if I, I get this chart up here if I bring you That's back to I 20 thought. That's what I yeah, thought, it, it, because I've been watching it over the years. I thought the summer months were good, but your your um, your partner there uh, that does commodities, Andy Hex, that that seasonality week. I didn't. I haven't. I've experienced gold in the summer. Yeah, it's this. This is the the, the run we had. Uh, you know, the biggest run we've had thus far in the last few years was 2015. You know that that run. You know. Uh, was extraordinary. That run started in April, 
uh, it went up till August, I think, or the end of July. So we started, yeah, well, that's 20, no, here it is right here, 2015, no, what number am I at? 2015, yeah, so 2015, you started out Newmont at the 15 bucks and by, uh, oh my God, it was $15 to 46 you know, I mean, I think, I, I don't, and listen, we'll find out whether we're in a run like that, but I like how this is set up. And, and one of the main reasons I like how it's set up is this. After that run that Newmont went to 46, that ended August of 2016, you come all the way back down to 30, where we go back up to 42 in January, but then we only had a very small retracement compared to, you know, we didn't get close to the 30. It got down to 35. And, you know, Newmont itself has a high volume spike at $41. I think that's going to, wants to go for it. You know, well, look, it was at 42 uh, a month ago. I got the September pulse. So I can't be okay. talking years. I need to be talking months. That's um, good. I right, listen, I, I'm, <laughs> I, my my take on this right now is that we should have three months, and we should know right now. Like every day I get up, I'm not kidding. It's like, okay, man, are you going to slam gold today, or uh, is this the day that it's really going to go? I think we're in that time frame, and we both know, and I'm sure most of you folks out there from trading gold know, you never know when that happens. You never know when. If see, if we go to the GDX, you never know. Like, yeah, I'm looking GDX also. Look, I don't want to be fighting political pressures. There's a lot of political pressures to keep gold down. I don't know what they are. They probably don't have enough to talk about them. All I know, Tom, this is the bottom line. I'm, I'm holding off on my nine-foot pool table until Newmont's up. I don't want to be playing Brunswick air hockey. I agree. I agree. Yeah. The, bo the bottom line, if the run is, the run is right, you just got to make sure you take the money off the table because oh, we yeah. both know that, guess what, folks? You know, gold is not something you, you hold. Gold equities you don't hold forever. You get a run in gold, it come, crashes again. You get a run in gold, it crashes again. The If you are tr truly a fundamentalist, right? And I'm glad that I'm not, because every time that I think fundamentally, we know the deficit is going to get blown through the, the roof. It already has. We know that... You know, you got the Argentina peso falling apart. You got the Turkish lira falling apart. What I actually, where my head's going with this right now, just because of the last, uh, like, couple weeks, I get a feeling that what we're going to actually see is that there's going to be currency runs, and this will be the difference. I, I remember the currency run in 1998. And the difference in 98 was this. That's when ETF structures just started, and it was a true run on the banks and and Indonesia first, then it basically went from Indonesia to the rest of Asia, it jumped over to Russia and it blew apart everything, okay? Six weeks, that was, and people said, no, it couldn't happen. The difference now, there are so many ETFs, emerging market ETFs, and if you listen to all these banks, they've been telling you to get in emerging markets for the last two years, every single annual, get in emerging markets. Well, they're getting killed. The reason that they're getting killed, folks, is that the emerging market currencies have gone down dramatically. If those ETFs start rolling and they start selling, it seems to me that, guess what? Gold is going to be worth more real money, you know? Because if you, we were in those countries, they just lost 25% of their value, those two countries, in three months. So, well, hey. My hand's falling apart also from punching up quotes, GDX and NEM all day hoping yes, they go definitely. higher. So I need these to get make the run so I can put that order on that nine-foot uh, Spencer Marston pool table. I don't want to be playing Brunswick uh, air hockey. I like it. Cooking, brother. All right, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And tonight, we got big games tonight, man. We got the Lightning versus the Caps, and then we get the Celtics versus Cleveland. You better have a f four or five TVs on tonight, folks, because it's going to be uh, pretty wild. Uh, watching this whole thing shake out. Uh, William Sonoma. Let's go take a look at William Sonoma. William Sonoma just come out with numbers. That closed at $49.18. That is trading right now at $56. Let's see what they say number-wise. Um, okay, so William Sonoma. 
Uh, the estimate was 58 cents. They made 67. Uh, same steel, uh, same store comp sales. They expected 3.9 percent. They're doing 5.5 percent. Revenue. The uh, where is she? Revenue. Revenue. Come on, baby. Revenue. Uh, they expected 1.16 billion. They did 1.2 billion. Uh, so you're trading up seven dollars right now. Uh, after the market, we're at 56. 74 and the last high up here was 56.36 put this back in a weekly it's going for the top of the range and guess what the top of the look at that man that blows my mind when that happens top of the range has the high volume high that's what it's going for unreal what you know what is happening here folks which is pretty wild you can see cash flow wise people are letting go of the cash William Sonoma right if you've been in William Sonoma beautiful store Bottom line, everything's really expensive. You don't go to William Sonoma uh, trying to get a deal. Tiffany's, same type of setup. Tiffany's, that means people are spending money here. If we go over and we take a look at Tiffany's, Tiffany's uh, was up $23 today. You're talking about 20%. Uh, numbers were monster. They're getting those blue boxes. You know, that's, that's an indication uh, that bottom line is that the cash is flowing and they're spending it. The... The thing to keep your eye on, and it hasn't happened yet, is that Tommy and I were talking about this this morning. It's fine when the economy's going and people are spending money as long as they're not mortgaging their house in order to spend that money. It's, it's fine as long as it's coming out of cash flow. And thus far, when you do look at the refinances out there, um, they're not, bottom line is that I would say that both of those companies, that's coming out of disposable cash, not... Uh, as in the last downdraft, um, you know, people are just basically using their houses as a bank account and spending that money. Bottom line, um, it's not there. So uh, we'll see where this uh, does shake out. The note and bond market is still saying that uh, people are pulling, are putting money into those notes and bonds, and they're more than willing to lend the government money at basically 3% for 10 years because they want to make sure they get their money back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. And, of course, front page of TFNN. I'm Adam Steve Rhodes. He's coming up in 10 minutes. Not too late, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. 
While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity if you'd like to find out more about great panther silver then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the nyse market symbol gpl or the tsx symbol gpr don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information Welcome back, folks. And folks, don't forget about Tiger Dollars. Uh, that sale is up next Monday. Uh, that is where you can get either a 20, 30, or 40% bonus on um, your product uh, at TFNN. The way that works, uh, Tiger Dollars are good on all products at TFNN. No expiration date, totally transferable. Uh, if you buy 500 Tiger Dollars, you get 600, which is a 20% bonus. If you buy 1,000, you get 1,300, which is a 30% bonus. If you buy 1,500, which is the max, you get 2,100, which is a 40% bonus. Uh, those uh, right away can be used at all products. So if you get any product at TFNN, great way uh, to basically uh, get that product discounted or if you're looking, you're looking for any in the future. When we take a look at these markets out here, folks, so what you're looking at is this. Uh, notes and bonds. I expect you're going to get follow through tomorrow out there in that note and bond market. A real question is going to be, uh, as we were just talking to Jose, what is that, what is that dollar going to do? The dollar right now is at 93, uh, 920. 93, 480 is the number. So we're half a penny away from that, particularly as we come into the end of the uh, week. Uh, gold, gold, we're at 1292 or 70. Uh, silver, we're at uh, 1646. Now, what the silver market has done, the silver market has stayed in its higher range. What has also happened is that when we go over and we take a look at the GDX, what you see inside the GDX, the gold and the silver stocks, they have also stayed at the higher range. In fact, the GDX looks to me like we're going to make a run before the end of the week to this $23 level. Right now, you're at $22.34. So the equities themselves have stayed strong. The gold and silver equities, the silver equities in particular, uh, bottom line, were the first ones to go topside. Pan American silver broke out in a big way. That was to trading at $16.52. Uh, May 9th, right now, you're at $18.12. You get um, First Majestic. That's another one that has juice underneath it. Uh, that baby is at $7.28 right now, and that's laying right next to its December high of $7.83. Um, pretty good setup. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look for the speaking right back here. Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Wow! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.